All right, so let's do a problem on some simple probability. So consider the following. Suppose that 20% of the freshmen at either your local high school or college or whatever, you know, just insert school here, have taken at least one math course, as have 60%, 70%, and 90% of the sophomores, juniors, and seniors, respectively. So that's, um, that's right here, right? Now let's also assume that there are 4,000, 3,000, 3,000, and 2,500 freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, and seniors, respectively. So that's in this column right here. And the question is as follows. If a student is chosen at random, what is the probability that he or she has taken at least one math course? Now this is actually a... Um, it didn't actually... The problem itself didn't actually come with the chart. I just drew this chart out because it's a lot easier. Now ultimately... This problem is really easy. The fact that it's a word problem and the fact that it's about, you know, half a paragraph long really makes it intimidating and it's it's um, you know, the basically the reason why I chose to use a um, a chart to illustrate this because it's a lot easier to see. So, what well basically what do we know? We know that we know how many students are in each class, right? So that's a column on the all the way on the right. We know how many, the percentage of those students have taken at least one math course. So let's just figure out how many students total have taken at least one math course, right? So we know that 20% of the freshmen have taken at least one math course, and we know the number of students in the freshman class. So ultimately, we can calculate how many students, uh, how many freshmen have taken at least one math course, right? So that's obviously would be um, 0 0.2. Right, 20% times 4,000, right, and that's going to be, um, let's see, let's write this in red, because the freshmen are in red. This is going to be, let's see, 18,800, right, freshmen. 800 freshmen, right? And then, so, and then obviously, we can do the same thing for the sophomores, juniors, and seniors, right? So let's do that. So that's 0 0.6 times 3,000. That's going to be uh, 1,800. Right? Sophomores are in blue. Sophomores. And then ultimately, the juniors, uh, 0 0.7. 0 0.7 times again 3,000 right students in the junior class and that is going to be 2100 juniors right and then for the seniors uh, we know 90% of the seniors have taken at least one math class right so that's times 2,500 seniors in the senior class, and that's going to be 2,000, if I did my math right, 250 seniors, right? So basically, now we can add these four numbers up and see how many students in total in the school have taken at least one math class, right? So if we sum that up, right, we'll get that there are a total of uh, 6,950 students total, right, that have taken at least one math class, okay? So if we want to find out the probability of, you know, randomly picking one student and seeing if that student uh, has taken a math class, well, we know how many students total have taken at least one math class. And we ultimately know how many students total are in the school altogether. So then the probability, right, the probability, probability of, you know, uh, student uh, has taken, right, taken math class at least, at least, at least one math class. Actually, let me rewrite that. So the probability, I think you can see where I'm going with this, probably that a, um, I could just write P, held it, 
So the probability is going to be equal to the total number, uh, number of students that have, have taken a, at least one math class at least one math class, right? I'm going to divide that by the total number of total number of students, right? Obviously. So, well, we know the the numerator, right? So that's six thousand nine hundred fifty students divided by the total number of students. So we have four thousand seven ten twelve thousand five hundred. Right, and that's going to be equal to uh, about 0. Point, again, if I did my math correctly, 556, five, right? So we have just over um, one half probability that, uh, or 50% probability that we'll pick one student that actually has taken a math class. Or it ends up being, um, if you simplify this fraction, it ends up being. 139 divided by 250, right? So again, simple problem. It's sort of the, it's, this again is more of a word problem than anything. It's sort of a, you know, if I have um, five different bowls or whatever and I pick one, what's the probability that I'll pick, you know, this particular one? Well, it's one-fifth that they're all different, right? So it's similar. It's kind of like that. Um, you know, just t picking the, having the, uh, the number of students that's that actually taken at least one math class and divide that by the total number of students and just um, getting your answer, all right? So hopefully this helped, um, you know, as an example of a simple word problem in probability. Obviously things get a lot harder and a lot more complicated, and we'll talk about that hopefully soon. So we will see you all in the next video.